Greetings, my dear friends. My name is Maxim and welcome to my channel. And today we are going to be discussing von Hippo Lindau syndrome, which is inherited condition associated with tumors arising in multiple organs. Well, without further ado, let's dive into it. The main character of our scene is a hypototamus diver, wearing a dominant necklace and catching dangerous intruders. The gene responsible for von hippo lindau syndrome is called VHL, which could be easily remembered. Because these are the first letters of the syndrome. Domino necklace means that the disease is inherited in an autosomal dominant type of inheritance. What are the tropics without an island with palm trees? Palm trees sound like number three, which will help us remember that the VHL gene is located on chromosome number three. The one hippo Lindau gene on chromosome number three is an amazing force shielding our bodies from harm. Its superpower resides within the DNA of its remarkable tumor suppressor protein that works tirelessly to protect us against hypoxia-inducing factor, HIF. HIF, like an oxygen-30 line, travels through our body looking for ways to induce that dreaded low oxygen state. Fortunately, this hero has the strength to contain HIF's ability to deplete us of oxygen. Each encoded sequence on chromosome 3 is a silent champion, keeping balance in our system without fail. As you can see, the diving tank is damaged, which resembles hypoxia-inducing factor. Hemangioblastomas are a source of never-ending fascination to scientists. Their vascular brain tumors stuck in their claim in the cerebellum and occur predominantly among adults and children affected by von hippo lindau syndrome. This strange presence in the body can trigger some unexpected episodes. When hemangioblastomas appear, they release erythropoietin, leading to a rare reaction called secondary polycythemia. Examining these enigmatic entities up close reveals a complex masterpiece, with an intricate foam-like texture tingled with touches of crimson. It is an astonishing example of the complexity within our body's hidden world. A red sponge on a tree will remind you about hemangioblastoma. Our secret agent Hippopotamus caught a dangerous criminal and imprisoned him in a cell. The criminal looks like a kidney. Kidney in the cell or renal cell carcinoma occurs in people with one hippo Lindau syndrome. This is the classic clear cell histology appearance of a renal cell carcinoma. The neoplastic cells have clear cytoplasm and are arranged in nests with intervening blood vessels. Their microscopic appearance is why they are often referred to as clear cell carcinomas. People with VHL mutation are highly susceptible to developing pheochromocytoma, a type of neuroendocrine tumor that originates in chromaffin cells. These specialized cells play a crucial role in producing hormones essential for the body's functioning and can be found within the adrenal glands. This genetic predisposition creates a unique vulnerability for individuals affected by VHL mutation, paving the way of the formation of herophromocytomas. The signs and symptoms associated with these tumors encompass various discomforts that manifest physically and emotionally, often causing great distress to those affected. Among these indications are high blood pressure, severe headaches, profuse sweating, coupled with rapid heartbeat leading to tremors. 
notable paleness or pallor on the skin surface, shortness of breath due to respiratory difficulties experienced by patients who develop this condition. Additionally, panic attack type symptoms may arise as an individual's emotional well-being becomes impacted once faced with such alarming physical manifestations. Thus, a beautiful phoenix stands for pheochromocytoma. Well, folks, this is all what I have for you today. Thank you for watching. I wish you a very lovely day and see you guys later. Goodbye.